hard to believe, but the greatest danger that one soldier faced came at his welcome home party. Tonight, a hero's in the hospital and a shooter is on the loose. Plus, the Pope delivers a Christmas message of peace, but not at this. Plus, word of a new credit card hack attack reportedly aimed at a very select group of victims. And those claiming they're behind that say that was only the beginning. We've got the details ahead on this Christmas edition of the Fox Report. They are hackers, and they're from the group called Anonymous. They say it's just the start of their week-long assault. They claim they have stolen emails and credit card data from a security think tank called Stratfor. Now, members of the organization claim their goal is to steal a million dollars and give it away to charity. The group bragging about it even on Twitter, posting links to what was once a secret client list for the security firm, the FBI. Now, more than three dozen people are dead today. We've been following this story all day on Fox. A series of Christmas Day terror attacks in Nigeria, several for the string of church bombings. Its members face suspicion of trying to incite sectarian civil war there, and analysts have nicknamed them the Nigerian Taliban. And today, the Vatican called the massacre a sign of blind hatred. David Lee Miller is here with more on the attacks. And David Lee, we heard from Greg Burke how the pontiff mentioned this specifically. What's the latest? I mean, foreigners congregated. It turned out to be very good advice. Yeah, absolutely. David Lee Miller, thanks for following it for us all day today. Well, no respite as well for the death and violence in Afghanistan. This well, firefighters in Stamford, Connecticut say it could be days before they know what sparked a tragic Christmas morning fire. There was also a bomb scare at a mall today as cops evacuated some last minute holiday shoppers. Our top story on a Fox trip across America. That's Santa. He's such an attention getter, isn't he? Anyway, after a year of nonstop political fights in Washington, President Obama is taking a break right now with the first family, and we are live in Hawaii. Well, there are so many families here and abroad that are facing another Christmas separated from loved ones who are serving in Afghanistan. But in England, some military wives have found a way to express their bittersweet emotions during this particular time of the year. And at the same time, they're raising a little extra money for other folks who need it. Amy Kellogg has more from London. Thanks so much. Well, Pope Benedict the 16th had a really busy day, too. He gave his own special holiday message today at St. Peter's Square, and thousands of pilgrims from around the world gathered to hear him speak. Greg Burke has more on the Pope's Christmas message from Rome. Britain's royal family celebrating Christmas together with the newest member of the family. That's how Fox reports this Sunday, Christmas Day 2011. I'm Jamie Colby. Thanks so much for watching. Merry Christmas to all. The O'Reilly Factor up. Hard to believe, but the greatest danger that one soldier faced came at his welcome home party.